Okay guys, I'm gonna try and see how long I can make it through this video, but the 24 hour bug has seriously hit our home. Hey guys, Kira here from 50 Shades of Mom, back to share another Vlogmas video, Vlogmas Day 21. I can't believe it's been three weeks consecutively. I have made it super late, like almost down to the wire of it not being the day that I posted, but I was able to post a video every single day. So I will make sure to leave in the description box the link to all the Vlogmas videos in case you missed any and you want to catch up on some. But today we are going to go through what I got my kids for Christmas. Now hopefully I can make it to this video quickly. We have had the 24 hour bug hit our house including myself. So I didn't get a whole lot of sleep last night. I was up most of the night getting sick and I have a small window right now where I actually feel not nauseous. So I figured this would be the great time before Daryl goes to work while he is with the kids for me to show you guys what we got them because if I'm feeling good tonight I need to start wrapping. It, Christmas is going to be here like it's in four days. So uh, I need to hurry up and get on this. So if I force myself to sit down with you guys and show you guys what the kids got then it's out of the closet and I can force myself to wrap. Hopefully no matter how I feel today wrapping is something that I can manage. So we're going to start off with Maya. If you guys are new to my channel I have three kids. I have my daughter Maya. She's three and a half years old and then my middle son Mason who just turned six and then my oldest Jacob who is 15 and a half. So I have a wide variety of items that I picked up to give you guys some ideas. I know it's kind of late, but a lot of the stuff I got on Amazon and Kohl's, which you can still get things by Christmas if you order, I think by the latest, by tomorrow. So I'll make sure to link whatever I can in the description box so that if you guys want to still get something or if you're seeing people later or if you still need that last minute gift idea, hopefully I could have you covered so again we're going to start off with maya and maya is addicted you guys to baby shark so she loves pink fung and she loves baby shark she watches all the videos on youtube and this one is the puppet so it's kind of meant for little hands uh, i tried to get my hand in there i can get it in there uh, and i have really tiny hands for a bigger person um but this is meant for a kid but it's still a baby shark puppet and I haven't pulled the tab yet, but it does sing that wonderful baby shark song. I'm so thrilled. I know she will be. So that's why I got that for her. And then some of these things I picked up from the Dollar Tree, like one of them was this LED mirror. I went for the first time to a Dollar Tree that had that section where they have things for more than a dollar. And this was five bucks, but Maya has a little vanity. And so I thought this would be really cute. It has a touch dimmer. 360 degree rotation battery operated just cute for her to put like her little lip gloss and stuff she's definitely a girly girl so for me getting my two boys first and then getting the girl i got my girly girl the one that wants the bows the nail polish the makeup the whole deal um Speaking of more things that I picked up from the Dollar Tree, and I'll make sure to link those videos down below if you guys want to check out some of those ideas because that's good for stocking stuffers and stuff as well. But I hit the movie jackpot. I showed them all more in detail in that video. That's why I said I'll link it. But this is just Tom and Jerry and The Wizard of Oz. And then this is a two film co collection of the DC Superhero Girls. And then Scooby-Doo, The Winter Wonder Dog. And then the Lego Friends Always Together. I think she's really going to love that one. It's very curly. Uh, here's the old school Warner Brothers with like Popeye and Tom and Jerry and all those kind of people. Um, Peppy Le Pew, Porky Pig. Um, Super, there's even a Super one, Superman one in there. So my kids really like the old school cartoons. I think they're going to enjoy that. Uh, here's one with the Jetsons and the Flintstones and Yogi Bear. Like, my kids have the 3D movie of Yogi Bear, and we just recently put 
Jetsons on from Netflix and my kids were loving it. So I think they're going to like that. And then I got Smurf and Friends. Again, my kids still love the old cartoons. And we have a DVD player in the van. And so anywhere we go, the kids are watching movies. So discs are crucial in our world. And how do you beat that? for a dollar so great score at the Dollar Tree uh, this was something else I scored from the Dollar Tree it won't fit in her stocking so I threw it like in her regular present pile but it's just color forms of Frozen 2 I love color forms it's like a throwback to my past for sure so I'm excited about that for her and then I didn't even open these up yet to take them out but I ordered her just a couple of t-shirts that are Ryan's World my kids are absolutely addicted to Ryan's World. And so I got her this regular t-shirt. And it's got the Gus, the Gator, and the Combo Panda, and the Ryan. I think he's, I forget what they call him, Ninja Ryan or something. I'm not sure. But I know she's going to love that. So I got that for her. And it was actually in a two-pack. So it came with this one also. So there's that ninja ryan i forget what he's called red ninja something i'm not sure the kids are obsessed that's all i know and so i got that for her both of them are a size 5t like you guys my daughter is three and a half she's so tall it's crazy not thick like thank goodness because her mama you know but she is so tall that i can't believe she's in a five right now um dollar tree also just some sun catchers and the princesses has Ariel, Jasmine, and Belle. Comes with the paint. Paints always oh, aren't always the greatest from the Dollar Tree, but three sun catchers and a paintbrush isn't a bad deal for a dollar, especially that it's Disney princesses, and the kids are going to be off for the whole week of the rest of Christmas and then the whole week after, and we're not going to New York until the middle of January. So we'll be home the whole time, and we'll need things to do. So I picked up that for her. And then I also got... A board game for her so I pick us up at Target and this is called surprise slides in the frozen 2 also <clears throat> it's essentially just shoots and ladders but I thought that was cute in the frozen 2 theme and it's something I think that she can play at her age and again we're gonna be around all week and so we'll need stuff to do um, here's one of her big presents and I'm really excited about it um, this is the Ryan's world doll I know it's kids crazy eight years old and I just saw the stats, eight years old, and he makes $26 million a year, okay? Uh, yeah, so what I would have done to walk his shoes just a tiny bit, but this is his My Life doll. I got this at Walmart for $30. I think that this is going to be something she's absolutely going to love. I see her carrying this around with her everywhere, and it also comes with two blind bags and a surprise egg, which you guys will see in a second. The surprise boxes and the eggs and whatever are like, they're just what my kids are all about. Um, I got her some mini undies. Picked these up from Kohl's. They were a super great deal, like half off, so I paid $7.50 for a six pack of mini underwear. I don't know about you guys. Did you guys always get socks and underwear for Christmas? I feel like that was always a staple. Um, so my kids love Play-Doh and then they had Baby Shark Play-Doh. So, I mean, that was kind of a new no brainer for me. So I got some Baby Shark Play-Doh. This was on Amazon and this says $14.99, but I wanna say that I paid like 10 or 11 bucks for it. So I thought that was pretty good for, um, like a licensed kind of play-doh and then this i picked up um at kohl's i think i got it for ten dollars on cyber monday but it's a frozen two tea set i think that's so cute i love that her and i will be able to uh do that together it comes with one teapot and lid one bowl with lid two teacups two spoons and two saucers so i think she's going to have fun um it says invite a friend to tea in arendelle so i think that's adorable and then this is just like a little throw in i was ordering from kohl's and they had this for like five dollars and she watches the show butterbeans cafe which i love that because it's pretty much just a show about cooking like a cartoons of cooking so i love that because they're my kids are so into like baking with me in the kitchen and this is butter beans whisk and the little butterfly goes around and it lights up and it says sayings like i said it was just something to throw in like something else fun for her to open and then here is her big gift and that is a ryan's world mystery egg so these things you guys are 
definitely not cost effective for what comes in here i do not think it's the greatest bang for your buck um mason got the green egg for his birthday and that had a pillowcase in it and a really soft throw blanket and a squishy and a few figures and some wall decals so the green egg i really think was worth the money but this is the white exclusive mystery egg there was only two left on amazon when i went on so i bought one for each one of my kids but it says that it comes with slime and a squishy figure and a plush with a backpack clip which means it's super little like meant to be hanging off of the backpack two figures with accessories one pullback vehicle for a figure one one pullback vehicle for figure and then one pullback vehicle i'm not sure what that means and the egg container that's it like not a lot of stuff and these things are like 70 dollars. so the prices are insane the marketing on this jeff but this is what they asked santa for so uh, I had to make sure that I got the one item that they asked Santa for. Both kids asked Santa for a white mystery Ryan's egg. So I had to make sure Santa delivered. And then stay tuned for tomorrow where I'll show you guys what is in my kids' stockings. And so you'll see what Maya got in her stocking. But that's it for Maya. And now we're going to move on to Mason. So for starters, for one of the first things that I got Mason was this. Oops, it's backwards for you guys is a nerf gun i feel like every kid needs a nerf gun on christmas at least a young boy and it's Fortnite. and i think this was like seven or eight dollars or something on kohl's uh one day between my kohl's cash my discounts all that stuff so i scooped this in as like an extra kind of throwing gift and then back to more ryan's world stuff i'm a little annoyed at this this is how it came shipped to me like just like this came in a plastic sleeve shipped like this so my kid knew he was getting a ryan's world toy because it was sitting at the door like here's the scan sticker on the side uh and then when you open it like this is the box so i can show you the red titan that's the robot he got but this is it like that's how they have it boxed so not really impressed with somebody who makes 26 million dollars a year and can't package this properly but this is red titan the robot he does like all suits like sorts of things but i don't have the batteries or anything in there yet but his eyes glow and he talks and he does all this kinds of stuff so mason's going to be excited with him but i was really like disappointed that it came in this box so obviously i'm going to wrap it but he already knows that this was delivered here so definitely something i couldn't include from santa um has to be from mom and dad but that's okay uh i'm excited um to give that to him because i know he's going to like it and then here are a pack of batman figures this was like ten dollars or something also like super cheap on cyber monday at kohl's and it comes with batman robin nightwing stealth batman the joker and thrasher armor batman so i thought that was a lot of figures for like 10 or 12 bucks so I was happy with that purchase. And then he also has a bunch of movies that, like I said, I scored from the Dollar Tree. I don't even see all of them. Oh, here they are. Um, which, again, I'll go through them quick, quickly because that's in that same video. But Scooby-Doo and Frank and Creepy. And then here was Batman The Last Laugh. And then a Batman Out of the Shadows. And then this was uh, Lego Chia Tribes and Betrayals. So I know he's going to like that because he likes all the Lego movies. But he's obsessed with Mario. And this is two hours of Mario Adventures. And then this is Scooby-Doo and the Snow Creatures. So um, like I said, tons of movies. That was like 14 or 15 movies uh, for that for my kids. Plus I got them an Elf on the Shelf movie that the elf is bringing and my in-laws and my mom got them a bunch of movies so i love that movies never go to waste and then my kid got undies uh matter of fact he ended up with another pair that were Fortnite that i've already given it to him because i put a bunch in my cart trying to decide and apparently i never took him out so he got a five pack of the mario underwear and then a five pack of the ryan's world so i had originally taken this out because i didn't want Maya to see this and get jealous they don't have a female version of the ryan's world um but i guess i never took it out and i don't want to return it because he can use underwear so 
so we're gonna have to teach Maya like those are Masons. Uh, here's his color forms that I picked up from the Dollar Tree, but this is Toy Story 4, so I think he's going to like that. And then he also got a Ryan's World t-shirt, and that has all of the people on it, Gus the Gator and Combo Panda and Ryan. And then he also got a Play-Doh, and this is in The Incredibles 2. They had no, like, Ryan's World or Batman or any of the other ones, but he does like The Incredibles. So I picked that up for him. And then here is his, like, sun catchers. He got the Toy Story 4, which has Woody and Woody and Buzz, and I forget the heck her little name, but... Again, three sun catchers for a dollar. Just something for us to do um, with Santa. And then, oh, I just pushed him. So this is like Mason's big gift. Um, this is his combo panda. He does a whole bunch of things like karate action and makes lights and sound and all that stuff. So I know he's going to be thrilled with that. And then, of course, he also got his Ryan's mystery egg. So um, I think it's pretty even. Once I wrap, I'm gonna put everything together. Uh, if I do end up going and picking up anything else in the last couple of days just to even anything out, either price-wise or like pile-wise, I'll share it on my Instagram. So if you're not following me there, um, it's just 50 Shades of Mom, but I'll share anything else that I get on there if I pick up anything else. Plus I will be vlogging Christmas, so you guys will end up seeing that. Uh, I am doing Vlogmas for the entire 31 days, so you guys will still get to see like Christmas after. So that was Mason's, and then now we're gonna get into my 15 year old. Okay, so like I said, last but not least, we're gonna get into Jacob, and I got him a really, really fun game. I think he's really going to like Jumanji. Uh, they're coming out with a new one, and he wasn't really too interested in the old movie, but when the newer one came out with The Rock, Jacob really, really liked it, and now they're coming out with a Jumanji 2 with The Rock still, um, and so I thought that this would be a really fun game. Again, we're looking for stuff to play, like when we're home on a break and then i got jake a trimmer um he's at the age now where he needs to be trimming body hair everywhere do you guys i know i always refer to my 80s kids but i'm looking for like my 90s kids out there too who used to watch some of the older like 90s cartoons do you guys remember a real monsters there was a character by the name of crumb and he would walk around like this and he would hold up his eyeballs but he had like really long underarm hair and so we always tease jacob and we always call him crumb just because he has that italian hairiness to him and so he has like really long underarm hair and stuff and he's getting to the age now where daryl needs to start showing him like all of that body hygiene stuff he's in rotc so he needs a clean shaven face so i did get him like a face razor but i thought some like this would be better for like all of his body hair and stuff like he needs to start learning how to groom himself so this is a 13 piece all-in-one trimmer sometimes Jake doesn't like to get a haircut but he likes to just trim the sides away so maybe this is something like he'll be able to learn watching YouTube videos and stuff like how to do that on his own so I got this at Kohl's like a really good price like $20 or something like that and then this we spent a little bit more on like 60 bucks but we're all about our like really good electric razors and we're big on the Philips Norelco. Those things work so good. They charge amazing. They cut amazing. I have one for like my my bikini areas. Daryl has one that he uses to shave every day for work and then now we got Jake one. So this says dual precision blades, four direction flex heads, shave wet or dry. It even has a pop-up trimmer and it has a 50 minute um, battery life and I like the fact that it has like a really cool like rubber grip for holding just just to get used to like holding a blade and stuff because he's never shaved before so I thought that would be good for him and that was like $70 maybe and then this was just kind of like a gag joke so this is the sarcastic nine ball so it's like the eight ball that you used to shake when we were kids and like ask it questions. But this says things like, don't ask me anything. Haven't you got better things to do? If you really must ask me a question. Uh, so, well, duh. 
whatever yes if you leave me alone just like cute little fun things so i thought that would be cute um jake does have a lot of like smaller gifts not smaller gifts, but like a piece of jewelry and stuff in his stocking. So you guys, again, we'll see the stocking videos tomorrow. So you'll see a little bit more of what we got Jake because now I'm going to show you his big present. So you're probably going to be like, well, you know, he doesn't have as much as the other kids, but he got a TV for Christmas. And so um, his TV was definitely his big gift. So it's a 32 inch Vizio. 1080p full HD and it's a smart TV so he can watch his YouTube and all that stuff um, on the TV. We upgraded him. Um, he had a 27 inch when we lived at the old house and then when we took it down off the wall and we were leaning it up against the wall, Maya knocked it over and broke it and it like it almost looked like those things when all of the ink runs and so the ink ran all over the screen and we had to throw it out. We didn't even take it with us because it was garbage. So Jake hasn't had a TV since we've been in this house. He's been using like the TV that we have downstairs or his cell phone and so he definitely deserves a TV and I just wanted to replace it for him. I felt like he already had one. It should have been replaced not as a gift but the mature kid that he can be sometimes said to me mom it's not your fault either that it fell and broke it was an accident and I would be fine as taking it as a Christmas gift and because he was so mature and saying that I felt the need to upgrade him so we went five inches higher and a better brands like he had more of like insignia or something like that and this time we got a Vizio which I happen to love the Vizio from my bedroom is like the best TV. I, I've fallen in love with that one. So um, we got him that one. So I felt like that was a nicer gift. I know that he's going to be excited, at least with those things. And he has, you know, a bunch of other things that um, are in his stocking. And I think I'm going to get a gym membership. So I've been looking to gyms around here, but Jake is starting to put on some pounds. And I think that maybe us going together, it'd be something fun mother son for us to do. So I think a gym membership would be a nice gift as well. All right, guys, so that's it for this time's video. I hope you guys enjoyed what I got my kids for Christmas. Again, I'll make sure to link down anything below that I could find, whether it be on Amazon or Kohl's or somewhere to see if you guys can get in those last minute items in case we were able to give you any kind of inspiration. Stay tuned for tomorrow where I'll show you guys what I put in my kids' stockings. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. I love you guys all so much, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye, guys.